Hey guys, it's Robin with Roanoke Fit Body Boot Camp and I am making breakfast. Yay! And I know you're very, very excited about this. Um, but I guess I wanted to challenge you a little bit about what breakfast could be and having a goal of definitely having some protein and some healthy carbs and some good fats uh, is definitely a way to um, approach breakfast. And so I've got mine going on right here. And the first thing I have, I've got my pan heated. And all I do is I have four egg whites. And then I have that um, Bragg's Organic Sprinkle that I love so much. The flavor is just amazing. And so I'm going to put that in my pan. And again, how you like your eggs is totally up to you. Cooked through is very awesome at times. And you can see I didn't sort of just wake up, but I was running around. So do I look tired? I probably look tired. Anyway. I'll put some makeup on. I'll cover. I'll cover this up. Some spackle. Look less tired in a minute. But um, anyway, so I have my egg whites, and in the meantime, what I'm going to do with my breakfast is I have. Look at that. Look at that. The non-professional chef. Um, I've got um, just some small orange slices, and guess what? I'm going to have. I am going to have salad alongside my egg whites. I'm just going to give myself a little handful. Okay, so I want to get some greens. We definitely are short on greens as a rule, as a population, and I've never met a green vegetable that I don't like. I know you may have, but I would love you to challenge yourself to find vegetables that you really like and eat a lot of them. You can't go wrong eating vegetables. Although apparently now broccoli and I don't get along well, and that's a different story for a different day. So unfortunately, because I love broccoli, it's awesome, but it, also, you know, causes problems for me and anybody around me uh, if I eat it. I'm also going to have a couple of olives. Oh, look at that. With breakfast? Yes, I am. It's kind of a European thing probably because they tend not to have a lot of sweet stuff um, like we do here in the States. And it would be awesome to sort of get away from everything having to be a biscuit or a Danish or whatever. I'm not even sure that's food anymore. Tasty, but not necessarily foodie. Anyway, so I've got my egg whites going. And then the other thing that I have is um, Udo soil. And I, I love this one, the 369 blend. Um, it's been around for a long time, guys. And so, and I am going to measure it because a tablespoon has about 14 grams of fat. And that's not bad, but I think with the whole paleo movement, we've got a little like overloaded a little bit on the fat. You know, just because fat is good for you doesn't mean it should be necessarily 90% of what you're eating. And so again, let's see if I can you are feeling. Okay, so right here, and I'm just going to use the Udo soil. Now, not everybody likes Udo soil because it has a, a flexy uh, taste, and not everybody enjoys the taste of flax. How's that? So I'm going to put the oil on my greens. I've got my oranges. I've got my four egg whites. They are done and flavored, and then I'm going to put them on my plate. And of course, after I put them on my plate, I didn't know if I was just going to step right off and get to look in my dirty sink over there. All right, so that's it for my egg whites, and look at this. Uh, breakfast, voila. Okay, so protein, greens, healthy fat, some orange slices for some fruit, and that's it. Look, at, oh, look at the steam. I couldn't have even, you know, planned that for perfect as I almost dumped my plate over. Ha! Ah. Okay, have a great day, and I hope that you start thinking about breakfast differently.